In this video, I'd like to do an example calculation um, because we haven't really done a lot of calculations with conservation of energy up to this point. So imagine that we have a spring with spring constant K equals 200 newtons per meter. And um, the spring is hanging from the ceiling. Then suppose we hang a 20 newton block from the spring. Okay, and what we want to know is how fast will the block be going when it reaches um, 15 centimeters below the starting point. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is sketch the situation. So we have the spring, it starts out like this, and V equals zero at the starting point. Then later, the spring is going to be stretched, like so. We know that this change in height is 15 centimeters, and what we want to know is the speed. Okay, so the first choice you have to make is what system you want to use. So um, there are many correct answers for this, and we went through in an earlier video all the possible choices. Um, I'm going to do the one where everything is in the system. Okay, so I'm going to include the Earth in the system, and I'm going to show that by just doing a dotted line around everything. Um, but if you wanted to consider the Earth or the spring to be external, um, you'll get the exact same answer at the end. Okay, so. Um, in order to solve a conservation of energy problem, the starting point is going to be the initial energy equals the final energy. Uh, and that's true as long as the external work equals zero. Okay, so here, everything's in the system, so there's no external work. Um, if you were considering the spring or the earth to be doing external work, then obviously you'd have to include that in your um, formula. So what types of energy do we have? Well, we have initial kinetic energy, we have gravitational potential energy, and we have spring potential energy. Right? Those kinds are all present at the beginning. Then at the end, we have those same types again. So final kinetic energy plus um, final gravitational potential energy plus final spring potential energy. Okay, so the initial kinetic energy is zero because the speed is zero at the beginning. The initial gravitational potential energy depends on where we put the y equals zero point. Now I'm going to choose to put y equals zero at the starting point for the block. So the starting height I'm going to call zero. That's not the only choice. You could put the final height at zero, or you could pick something else. Um, anytime a spring is present, it's very likely that it's going to be easiest to make the equilibrium point of the spring be the y equals zero part. So I'm just going to do that. So we're going to have mgy is zero at the start. And then because the spring is also at equilibrium, the spring potential energy is also zero. Okay, so the total energy in this case is zero. Um, the final energy is going to be one half mv squared. Well, I know the mass, but I don't know the speed. Um, plus mg y final. Well, I don't know. Well, I do know y final. Y final is uh, negative 15 centimeters. And then finally, one half k. Um, x is just y in this case, so the spring is stretching up and down, and so that's the direction that we have. Um, and so here we have yf again. Okay, so we just plug stuff in, right? So we know zero is the total energy, and that's going to equal one half. Well, the mass um, is going to be the force divided by g, so 20 newtons divided by 10 meters per second squared. That'll give us the mass times v squared. That's what we want to find. Plus that same thing, um, 20 newtons divided by 10 meters per second squared to get the mass times 10 meters per second squared times y final plus one half, k is 200 newtons per meter um, times um, y final, which actually I know that, so I should plug that in in both of these um, terms. y final is negative 0 0.15 meters and negative 0 0.15 meters, but it appears squared in this expression, so I need to square that. Okay, so I know everything except for v, and so if I plug in um, all the numbers here and plug it into a calculator, I'm going to get that v is equal to 0 0.87 meters per second. Um, and so that's the speed of the block. Um, and notice that what I did here is I just took all the types of energy that are present at the beginning, set them equal to all the types of energy present at the end. Um, when you do that, it's possible you might have to solve a quadratic formula. It's possible that you know your answer might look different if you put y in a different place, um, y equals zero in a different place than I did. If you included things in the system that I didn't include, um, the process may look totally different, but you should get the same answer. So that's the thing that I think it's good for you to try. Um, also notice that what I did not do is just start with k equals u. So I'm not sure why people have this tendency, but people always just want to start by setting kinetic energy equals the potential energy, which is almost always wrong. Um, that doesn't work in this case, and it doesn't work in most cases. So just simply do not do that, please. Start with the um, initial energy equals final energy and work from there.